Today we are going to read the story, The Very Good Day. Before we start reading, I just want you to think of a time when a friend did something kind for you unexpectedly. So when did a friend do something really kind to you, kind for you, and how did that make you feel? So there are many ways that we can show kindness and caring for others. We can share, help somebody else, or even say something nice or encouraging to them. Knowing that you've made others feel cared for and special can also make you feel good too. So in this story that we're about to read, a group of friends discover that doing something kind for others can help them have a good day and can encourage them to do kind things for others as well. So as you listen to the story, I want you all to pay attention to how the characters feel when their friends show kindness towards them. Kayla hurried down the street on her way to school, hoping that Gabriel would still be waiting for her at the corner. She had overslept this morning and then forgot to grab something for breakfast as she rushed out of the door. Her stomach growled and she thought, I just know this is going to be a very bad day. Has that ever happened to you guys? Early in the morning, maybe something bad happens or something that annoys you or just something's not going right for you in the morning, either before you go to school or before you have something big to do and you get into the mindset that this is just going to be a horrible day because nothing can seem to go right. I know that that's definitely happened to me before. As Kayla came around the corner, she saw Gabriel waving at her to hurry. When she came closer, Gabriel handed her a paper bag. My dad made homemade cinnamon rolls for breakfast, so I brought one for you. Kayla reached into the bag, pulled out the warm roll, and took a big bite. Yum, she said. I was so hungry. Thank you. That really made me feel special that Gabriel thought about me, she thought. Maybe this is actually going to be a very good day. So this small act of kindness where Gabriel gave her a cinnamon roll has turned Kayla's entire day upside down. And already she thinks more positively and she thinks this is going to be a good day. Up ahead at the school playground, Kim sat at the top of the jungle gym clenching the bars tightly. She had been trying for two weeks to hang upside down, but she just couldn't let go of the bars yet. She, stared she started lowering herself down to hang from her knees, and her stomach began feeling very quivery. As she gripped the bar with her last two fingers, she looked across the playground and saw two of her friends. As Gabriel and Kale arrived at the playground, they spotted Kim on the jungle gym. She's been trying to hang upside down for the bars for a while now, said Kayla. Come on, let's go cheer her on. They ran over the jungle gym, clapping and shouting, You can do it, Kim! So this is really great that her friends, Gabriel and Kayla, are giving her words of encouragement, right? They're pumping her up, they're saying, You can do it, Kim! But I wonder if Kim will be able to do it with these words of encouragement. Let's see. Kim was really nervous, but hearing her friend's voices made her stomach feel less shaky. She squeezed her eyes shut and dropped one arm down. Then she took a deep breath, let go with her last finger, and swung all the way upside down. She had done it. As she listened to her friends clapping, Kim felt really proud and thought, That was awesome to have my friends cheering for me. This is the best day ever. Oh, that's really great that Kim had such encouraging friends who were able to give her the support that she needed to turn this scary experience into something that made her proud, and she probably had a lot of fun doing it. The school bell rang loudly, so Kim climbed down from the jungle gym, and three friends ran toward the building. We're going to be the first in line today, said Kim. Just then, their friend Jeremy walked right in front of her and stood facing the door without a word. Hey, he cut in front of us, said Gabriel. Usually that would have really annoyed Kim, 
but today she was in a great mood. It's no big deal, she whispered. Let's just give him a break. He never does stuff like that, so maybe he's just having a bad day. Jeremy was definitely having a bad day. He had forgotten that his reading journal was due today, and he hoped that he would have enough time to finish the last page before school started. Then he turned around and saw a few of his friends standing in line behind him. Oh, hi there, he said grumpily. When did you get here? Gabriel smiled at him. Actually, we've been here the whole time. Jeremy's eyes opened wide. Did I cut in front of you? Sorry. I was thinking about how I haven't finished my journal. Why didn't you tell me to go to the end of the line? I like how, even though Jeremy's in a really bad mood, he's able to notice that what he did was probably not the best thing and that he probably upset his friends. So he's checking in and saying sorry and apologizing for cutting them in line. It's fine, said Gabriel. It sounds like you need to get right inside. So just stay at the front. And I love how Gabriel realizes that maybe he's he is having a bad day due to his reading journal. So he says, it's fine, you can go up front, you need to get into the school before us anyway. So they're being really kind to each other. Thanks, said Jeremy. Talking to his friends made him feel less worried. He smiled gratefully at them and thought, I'm so glad that my friends are so understanding. Maybe this day won't be so bad after all. It seems like when other people are kind and understanding, and caring to each character, their days turn from being really bad to maybe not so being bad, not being so bad after all. So I'm starting to kind of see that their acts of kindness are rubbing off in a positive manner on their friends. Jeremy hurried to his classroom and took his reading journal and some markers out of his desk. He glanced at the chalkboard at the front of the room where his teacher had written. Today is Thursday, April 23rd. I was sure that today was Friday, he thought. That means I have another whole day to finish my journal. This is the most awesome day ever. Then he had an idea. He tore a few pieces of paper out of his journal, picked up a marker, and started drawing. Hmm. I wonder what he's going to draw a picture of or draw. On his piece of paper. As Jeremy's friends got to the classroom, Gabriel tripped and fell right into Kayla, who lost her balance and crashed into Kit. The three kids landed in a heap on the floor, and their backpacks and lunches spilled out everywhere. With embarrassed looks on their faces, they began scrambling to gather up their things. Then they silently walked to their desks, feeling as if the whole class was staring at them. Gabriel frowned and thought to himself, that was a rotten way to start the day. But when the kids arrived at their desks, they each found a folded piece of paper on top. As they opened them, Kayla, Gabriel, and Kim each started laughing. They looked over at Jeremy. He smiled and gave them a thumbs up. As the kids sat down, they each set their cards on the corner of their desks, where they would be able to see them all day long. As the school announcement started, the four kids thought about how good it felt to do something kind for someone else and how their day had, re had really been turned around because a friend did something kind for them. They all thought, this is definitely going to be a good day. So we can see in the story that all of the characters, all of the friends in this, in this story were able to either say kind things to each other or do kind things for each other. And due to this, their days went from being not so great to really great. And it seems like this positive, kind, and caring energy rubbed off on all of the characters, and they all were able to have a positive and good day. 